KXO, El Centro, California. Good morning, Gene. Good morning, Carol. <clears throat> ah, I would say it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood, but with uh, the devastating losses in Nyland and everything else that's going on, it's a tough day in the neighborhood. That's what it looks like. And uh, we've got an update on the uh, fire in Nyland. And um, it, it, like I said, just devastating. And it, it um, swept through the community. So, um, so far, no, uh, no injuries, no loss of life. But there are a number of uh, burned out structures homes and apartments that still uh, need to be searched so we'll uh, we'll kind of hold our breath on that one well it's certainly uh, as you uh, echoed it's a tragedy and you know and and you don't okay we live in the desert forest fires not a big deal this started as a brush fire and uh, just swept through uh, the community of nyland so we'll uh, we'll have more. We do uh, understand, uh, as uh, just a short time ago, Highway 111 has reopened. So uh, that uh, that is a positive. The um, firefighters from all over the Imperial Valley and uh, San Diego and Riverside County and Yuma. Uh, still on scene. Lots so, of uh, lots of resources uh, going into uh, fighting uh, that fire. Yes. Ah, let's see. Today, what today is Mud Day. Uh, you know what mud is, don't you? Uh, mud. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, wet dirt. Exactly. Mud is dust with added juice. Right. Yeah. 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 It's also camera day. Okay, who owns a camera these days? You got a phone. I don't need a camera, right? Right. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my Nikon. I'm wondering whether I can still buy 35 millimeter film somewhere. And if I do, who's going to process it since I got rid of all my uh, developers? I'm sure somebody can that's uh has a real hobby for that type of yes. thing, but you won't find somebody just available down the block to do it. That's for sure. Nope. It's going to be difficult. Oh, let's see. What else is today? Oh, today is Waffle Iron Day. Waffle yeah. Iron. I bet a lot of people, younger folks, uh, have no idea what that is. No, you just buy the uh, Eggos, right? Yep. Yep. You can do that. Okay. How about some birthdays? Are you ready? How about some birthdays? Okay. Okay. Actor Gary Busey, <laughs> he is crazy. I mean, certifiable. He's 76. Comedian Richard Lewis, deadpan, 73. Uh, Ian Pierce of Deep Purple is 72. And uh, let's see, actor turned congressman, Fred Grandy, he was on the love boat, then got elected to Congress from Iowa, he's 72, and uh, singer Colin Hay of Men at Work, 67, actress Maria Conchita Alonso, 65, actress Sharon Lawrence, 59, actress Amanda Donahoe is 58, actress Judith Hogue is 57, Actress Kathleen Wilhoyt, 56. Actress Melora Hardin is 53. Actress Christina Chang is 49. And let's see. Uh, Sam Farrar of uh, Maroon 5, 42. Actor Luke Kirby is 42. Singer Nicole Scherzinger is 42. Actress Lily Rabe is uh, 38. Singer Andrea Fimbres, 37, and actress Camila Mendez, 
is 26. Local birthdays coming up. There's a lot going on right now, and broadcasters are on the ground covering all of it, bringing you the weather, the traffic, and breaking news, all while entertaining you 24 hours a day. Someone needs to tell you what's going on around the world and in our hometowns, and that someone is us. We are free radio. We are always there. We are broadcasters. Visit wearebroadcasters.com or text radio to 52886 to learn more. Furnished by NAB in this station. Let's celebrate our KXO birthdays. Happy birthday Aisha Gale, Angel Varela, Carolyn Hilfiker, Bertha Ramos, Arnie Eaton, Karen Marquart, June Pavo, Phyllis Nichol, Jorge Ruiz, Gustavo Villegas, Stella Sandoval, Michael Max Banuelos, Barbara Salazar, Brenda Hinojosa, and Jose Ochoa. Happy birthday from KXO. And let's see, what else is going on? Well, lots of things. Uh, the uh, OptumServe test site has moved. They uh, packed up their bags, moved from Calexico. They are now at the Brawley Community Se or Senior Center. Okay? All right. Okay. Okay. And let's see, what else is going on? Oh, yeah, this, I, I read this over the weekend. An expert said murder hornets are not the most dangerous creatures out there. That's good to know, right? Yeah, I've yeah. been holding my breath waiting for that. Yeah, but but I, I'm just on kind of hold here. I'll, I'll warn you, if I hear anything about homicide hamsters, oh, they can be mean. Homicide hamsters. Yes. They're coming next. That's a stretch, but yes. okay. Okay. We've got news. Got a lot of things that uh, are happening, and uh, we'll jump into that. Right now, it's a look at World in California news headlines, and uh, it's brought to you by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. CBS News special report. By a 5-4 to four vote, the Supreme Court has just rejected a key challenge to abortion rights. CBS's Steve Dorsey is in Washington. The Supreme Court has backed opponents to abortion clinic restrictions in Louisiana. Chief Justice John Roberts sided with the court's four liberal justices. The case tested whether the state's Republican-led legislature could require abortion doctors to be members of a nearby hospital's medical staff. Challengers to the regulation said it would force abortion clinics to shut down. Protesters outside the high court. The Supreme Court has failed to stand with women, to protect women and to protect life. The justices have also cleared the way for federal executions to resume for the first time since 2003. And they've let stand a decision against environmentalists trying to stop, stop the president from building a border wall. CBS News Special Report. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Lock Air Conditioning wants you to protect the things you care about. Protect your family with the air scrubber that utilizes Active Pure certified technology to protect against airborne and surface contaminants. Clean, deodorize, purify, and protect not only your family, but your home. The air scrubber installs easily to your heating and cooling system, and it's made in the USA. Call Lock Air Conditioning now for details. 760-353-4501. Lock Air Conditioning and protect the things you care about. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news. Seven California counties under an order where bars have to shut down again as the number of COVID-19 cases continues to rise. Gary Montero is with the Tulare County Department of Public Health. What this means for our bars is that they are, unless they have dining options available and can continue to follow the dine-in guidance, they must close down their operations. You are affecting L.A., Fresno, Imperial, Kern, King, San Joaquin, and Tulare counties. The bars have to close for no less than three days, no more than 14. A 31-year-old man identified as a suspect who shot and killed an employee at a Red Bluff Walmart distribution center over the weekend before law enforcement shot and wounded him. The engagement occurred in the parking area, outside the building, not within the building, amongst the parked cars. Shortly thereafter, the suspect was... Down. Tehama County Under Sheriff Phil Johnston, Lewis Lane died at a local hospital. Six people injured, all expected to survive. Cool down across the state today. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning for all your air conditioning needs. Sales, service, 
It's Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. At Sprint, we understand saving money for your family is now more important than ever. That's why we're offering our best unlimited deal. Switch and get four lines of unlimited for just $100 a month. That's right, four lines for 100 bucks. Plus, the plan includes Hulu, 500 megabytes of mobile hotspot, DVD quality streaming, and more. If that's not enough, to really amp this up, we're including four amazing iPhone 11s on us when you trade in iPhone 6s or newer in any condition. And now, Sprint customers enjoy access to expanded coverage on the T-Mobile network. Shop from the comfort of your home at Sprint.com, call 800-SPRINT-1, or come see us in our stores. Phone after 2917 per month credit for 18 months credit, apply within two bills. If canceled early, remaining balance due requires new account unlimited basic after 73121. Pay $35 per month per line with autopay. Did any prioritization during congestion coverage and offer not available at work. Excludes taxes, fees, and roaming speed. Maximums use rules. $30 activation fee and restrictions apply. It's page one of the local news. Page one is service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with two locations in the valley on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro and in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive. Taking a look at the latest in local news uh, for a Monday morning, the Nyland Fire in the news. George Gale filed the story. As of 4.30 this morning, the fire was 90% contained. County Fire Chief Alfredo Estrada said there had been no reported injuries in the fire that has devastated Nyland. Chief said 20 to 30 structures were destroyed in the fire that began Sunday afternoon. He said an assessment would be conducted to determine the, the exact number. Uh, Estrada said between 500 and 600 residents had been evacuated. Evacuation center was set up at Calipatria High School. He said uh, Monday uh, this morning, uh, 130 residents had been displaced and were provided hotel vouchers by the American Red Cross. Once the fire is fully contained, more accurate numbers are expected. The uh, fire began as a brush fire Sunday afternoon. Strong winds blew the fire across 4th Street into the uh, structures. Mutual aid was requested, and every department in the county responded, as well as the Yuma Fire Department and two out-of-county strike teams. The chief said the strong winds made it very difficult to combat the blaze. Cause of the fire has not yet been determined. For KXL Local News... I'm George Gale. CBP to begin reopening trusted traveler centers. They will start July the 6th. U.S. Customs and Border Protection announced plans to reopen trusted traveler program enrollment centers. The reopening plans were developed in consultation with CBP health and safety experts to include measures that minimize the risk of exposing travelers and CB personnel to the coronavirus. Beginning July 6, conditionally approved Global Entry, Century, and U.S.-Mexico Fast Traveler Program applicants will be able to uh, complete in-person interviews <clears throat> at most trusted traveler programs enrollment centers in the United States. Applicants must schedule an appointment by logging into their account on the Trusted Traveler Program website. U.S. and Canadian enrollment centers will remain suspended until August the 10th. KXO News Time is coming up to 743. To show their gratitude to frontline or essential workers, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro have something very special. For all Ford Pass Rewards members who are considered frontline or essential workers, they give you the Works Service Package through June 30th. Now, the offer applies to current or new Ford Pass Rewards members who are frontline or essential workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. Not a Ford Pass Rewards member? See your Quick Lane Service Advisor for details. In other local news, the Imperial County Board of Supervisors held an emergency meeting Friday to discuss Governor Gavin Newsom's recommendation that the county step back and reinstate the stay-at-home order. During his Friday update on the COVID-19 pandemic in California, Newsom said that due to the extremely high number of positive test results in Imperial County, the county should go back to the order and shut down the valley again. According to the governor, the number of positive coronavirus tests in Imperial County is at least three times the state average. Additionally, 
Approximately 500 patients, uh, patients from Imperial County have been transferred to out-of-valley uh, health care facilities as far away as Sacramento, thus putting an extreme burden on other counties and health care providers. The Board of Supervisors and county officials are meeting with state officials to discuss what additional steps can be taken by the county to address how to ensure the health and safety of local residents. County officials are also collaborating with the state to see what additional resources are available to assist the county. The county remains under a stay-at-home order except for essential needs and services. Facial coverings have uh, remained mandatory when in public as well as the social distancing requirements. Governor Newsom issued uh, guidance to close bars in seven counties. According to the governor's uh, bars, uh, governor bars in Fresno, Kern, King, Los Angeles, and Tulare counties are required to close. He also recommended that bars in Riverside, Sacramento, San Bernardino, Santa Barbara, Stanislaus, and Ventura counties close. He added that Imperial County, which does not have uh, open bars or restaurant seating, keep the bars closed. Community spread of uh, COVID-19 continues to be a concern across the state and particular for counties on the county monitoring list. Community uh, the spread increases the likelihood of expanded transmission of the virus. The governor stated that counties will continue to take action to limit the transmission of COVID-19. That concludes this edition of Local News, page two coming up. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models and you never need an appointment. The savings are incredible at El Centro Motors. The price is so low, we can't mention them on the air. But we can tell you, you can buy a new Ford F-150, the best-selling vehicle on the planet, with 0% APR financing for up to 84 months. That's right, up to 84 months. See El Centro Motors for the full lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs with this great deal. With no payments for three months. Incredible deals. Incredible savings. Now at El Centro Motors. Not all buyers will qualify for Ford Credit 0% APR financing. Not compatible with other offers. Payment relief program requires Ford Credit financing. Customer can defer first payment up to 120 days. Excludes leases. Finance charges continue to accrue during deferral period. Offers exclude Super Duty, Raptor, and Mustang Shelby. See dealer for complete details. El Centro Motors, where they make it safer to shop and easier to buy. El Centro Motors. It's that easy. Page two of the local news brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance health insurance or retirement planning well the reports from the imperial county public health department to show that covid 19 pandemic has a grip on imperial valley the numbers released on saturday show that there are 6041 individuals who have tested positive for the virus as of saturday there were 1064 active cases and 81 deaths associated with the disease 4,896 patients have been deemed recovered. The numbers show a marked increase from Saturday, June 20th, when there were 4,800 positive cases. One week ago, there were 839 active cases and 64 deaths have been reported. The number of people tested has increased significantly, with 24,074 a week ago to 30,605 as of June 27th. Testing is available at no cost uh, at two OptumServe sites in the Valley. One at the Imperial Veterans Hall in Imperial, and the second site is now located at the Brawley Senior Center. No physician referral is necessary, but appointments must be made. Individuals can make an appointment through the Imperial County Public Health Department. Testing is also available through the Health Department and various private health care providers. Caltrans has more projects in Imperial County. The California Transportation Commission has approved uh, funding for three projects. Projects are funded by federal and state gas tax and SB1. 
the Road Repair and Accountability Act of 2017. Imperial County projects include $3.9 million to widen State Route 98 from four to six lanes in Calexico between State 111 and Rockwood Avenue. Six bridges on Interstate 8 and State Route 78 will be upgraded at a cost of $896,000. And two other bridges on Interstate 8 near Winter Haven will receive $556,000 in upgrades. Well, there was gridlock in Calexico. The city of Mexicali uh, checked uh, southbound uh, vehicles Friday night and caused traffic to back up on Imperial Avenue to Jasper Road. Mexicali authorities were checking the temperature of drivers and passengers, as well as making sure no one was trying to bring beer into the city. Reports were that it was taking nearly three hours to cross, uh, cross south into Mexico. The southbound checks were uh, started last weekend for Father's Day and then resumed this weekend. The temperature checks are being made in an effort to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Now, Central City Council will hold a special uh, council meeting uh, on Tuesday. The meeting is for the purpose of updating the COVID-19 situation. The meeting will be live-streamed on Facebook and the city webpage. Presentation will be made in English at noontime and in Spanish at 1245. We'll be back with a look at the weather. David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. The National Weather Service says windy and dry conditions can be expected today, causing very high fire danger. Below normal temperatures are expected for today, with afternoon highs only reaching the mid-90s in the Imperial and Yuma Valleys. A warming trend begins Wednesday, with highs climbing well above normal over the Independence Day weekend. Humidity will be higher during that time as well. 104 hour high yesterday, 71 the low, wind gusts peaked at 35 miles an hour. It'll be sunny today with a high near 93. West winds 5 to 10 miles an hour, increasing to 15 to 20 miles an hour in the afternoon with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. Clear tonight with a low around 67. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts as high as 30 miles an hour. The winds will decrease after midnight. Tuesday will be sunny with a high near 98. Light winds turning out of the east-southeast about five miles an hour in the afternoon. 74 degrees downtown, 41 percent relative humidity. Wind out of the west-northwest, 20 to 25 miles an hour. Gusting as high as 40 miles an hour in parts of the valley. Page two of the local news and the weather brought to you by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West, Insurance Services. Beginning Monday, July 6th, and continuing for the next 10 months, crews working to update the I-8 Imperial Avenue interchange will close the eastbound ramps. Eastbound motorists will be detoured at 4th Street, State Route 86. The I-8 Imperial Avenue interchange will be closed two nights for bridge demolition the week of July 20th. For more information, call Caltrans, 619-688-6670, 619-688-6670. It's sports time. What's going on in the world of sports? Former NFL MVP Cam Newton and the New England Patriots have reached an agreement on a one-year deal. Newton will now step into the mix to try to help replace former Patriots signal caller Tom Brady. Brady, of course, jumped for the money and went with Tampa Bay. Meanwhile, the NFL fined the Patriots $1.1 million and took away a third-round pick in the 2021 draft 
Those are among the punishments for their television crews filming the field and sideline during a December 8th game between the Bengals and the Browns. In addition, the Patriots television production crews will not be allowed to shoot any games during the 2020 season. And senior cl of club officials will undergo required training on league operation and game policies. You'd think they'd learn. H&R Block tax pros are available year-round to get you every credit and deduction you deserve. Because the tax deadline has been extended to July 15th this year, you have more time to organize your documents and file your return if you need it. If, on the other hand, you think you have a refund coming this year, why wait? The IRS is still processing returns. When you're ready to tackle your taxes, we're ready to help. Safely drop off your documents at our office or work with your tax pro from the comfort of your home. Call or visit your nearest H&R Block in Imperial Valley or Log on to hrblock.com today to get started. Brooklyn Nets forward Wilson Chandler has informed the team he is opting out of playing in Orlando. Chandler cited spending more time with his family, particularly his grandmother who raised him and three children, as a primary reason for sitting out. And round two at Pocono went to Denny Hamlin. Hamlin sees the spotlight and... Uh, Drove into victory in lane. Johnny Manziel, well, ever the realist, said, hey, my football career is in the past. He's thankful that he got humbled. Yeah. Hey, at least he didn't turn into Ryan Leaf. Uh, that's it for Sports Time. Financial news just ahead. Thank you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full-color brochures, and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. And financial news with a brief look at the weather brought to you by Imperial Valley's Roto-Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. Dow Jones Industrial Average up, up and down in the 400 uh, range showing green. The S&P 500 uh, up 26 points. The NASDAQ is up 41 points. Gold up $5.50 an ounce. And uh, oil, well... It's up 64 cents a barrel. So uh, the uh, movement is there in the uh, early going. And uh, it will be a uh, short week for um, the uh, market as they will close on uh, Friday in observance of the Independence Day weekend. What else is going on? Well, Facebook has some issues. Starbucks announced in an online statement that it is pausing advertisements on all social media platforms. Two days after consumer products conglomerate Unilever said it was halting U.S. advertising on Facebook and Twitter through year-end over ineffective policing of hate speech and uh, according to Barron's tech stock tech stocks may be getting ready for a serious pullback something to keep an eye on rotor rooter your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists rotor rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection water heaters faucets garbage disposals anything that's clogged up they'll take care of the problem right rotor rooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the imperial valley call the experts at 760-352-6789 that's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the north end rotor rooter when drains don't work we do
It will be sunny today with a high near 93. West wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, increasing to 15 to 20 miles an hour this afternoon with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. Clear tonight with a low around 67. West winds 10 to 15 miles an hour, decreasing after midnight. Winds could gust as high as 30 miles an hour. Sunny tomorrow with a high near 98. Light wind becoming east-southeast about 5 miles an hour in the afternoon. We have 75 degrees downtown, 41% relative humidity. Wind out of the west-northwest, 20 to 25, gusting up to 45 miles an hour. Financial news and the weather brought to you by Roto-Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. When drains don't work, they do. We've got the latest information on the Nyland Fire on our website, kxoradio.com. And we've got pictures on our Facebook page. You can check it out. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro. The Imperial Valley's local news source. CBS News is next. It is brought to you by Imperial it, it is brought to you by the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. This is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Steve Case, and there's been a major ruling from the U.S. Supreme Court on abortion. CBS's Steve Dorsey is in Washington. The court's four liberal justices joined by Chief Justice John Roberts struck down a Louisiana law requiring abortion doctors to be members of a nearby hospital's medical staff. Opponents to the law said it would leave just one abortion clinic open in the state, making it too difficult for women to get an abortion. The ruling further cements Roberts as the court's swing vote. Outside the court, anti-abortion forces gathered, hoping for a celebration. We are bitterly disappointed, and we hope that the court recognizes that they have denied the state's rights to protect women. High court also rejected an appeal from inmates to try to stop the resumption of federal executions this summer and has upended the effort by environmentalists to stop President Trump's border wall. The administration is briefing Congress today about the reported intelligence conclusion that Russia offered bounties to the Taliban for killing U.S. troops in Afghanistan. President Trump denied he was briefed on it. With coronavirus cases surging in the South and West, Health Secretary Alex Azar tells CBS this morning young people have to be persuaded to do more to help flatten the curve. Our governors are reporting that the majority of these new cases are under age 35 and many of them are asymptomatic. And we've got to get this under control because those individuals can spread this disease even unknowingly to those who are most vulnerable. Officials in Key West, Florida are closing beaches for the 4th of July weekend. The drug company Gilead says it will charge more than $2,300 for remdesivir treatment for the virus, $3,100 for people with private insurance. A consumer group calls it an outrage. Thanks to recent events, the racial divide is hitting home, and it's seen in home ownership numbers. New Census Bureau figures show 44% of black families own their own homes as of the beginning of this year. Now, that's up from some 41% in 2019, but it's far short of white home ownership rates of more than 73%. And the national real estate brokerage Redfin warns that the COVID crisis, which has already impacted African Americans more severely, threatens even that small progress towards economic economic equality. Vicki Barker, CBS News. New NFL surroundings for quarterback Cam Newton. Cam Newton put it right on the money. Signing with the New England Patriots. Boeing stock is up more than 8% today as the company begins testing the 737 Max. This is CBS News. Why settle for average? With Capital One, you can open a new savings account with a rate five times the national average. Welcome to Banking Reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One NA, member FDIC. Jay Farner here, CEO of Rocket Mortgage. Making the right financial decisions has never been more important. When you turn to Rocket Mortgage, we can help guide you to those right decisions now when they matter most. Mortgage rates are near historic lows, so now is a great time to call 8338-ROCKET. And if you need some extra money, a cash-out refinance could give you that financial boost you're looking for. Call today at 8338-ROCKET or go to rocketmortgage.com to learn more. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. And MLS number 3030. When it comes to showing our gratitude, each of us has a way that reflects who we are. Henry, a 12-year-old, draws pictures for doctors. 
Susanna wrote a song for nurses at her local hospital. Our way of showing thanks is Mass Mutual Health Bridge, a free life insurance program specifically for frontline healthcare workers battling COVID-19. If you're a healthcare worker, check eligibility and apply at massmutual.com slash healthbridge. Did a country music performer hit a sour note at a recent concert? Chase Rice posted video of hundreds of maskless fans jammed into his concert at the Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary in Tennessee. He wrote, we back on his Instagram story that showed the camera panning the crowd. Fellow country singer Kelsey Ballerini called Chase selfish in a tweet. The concert was held a day after the state reported its highest daily jump in coronavirus cases. Deborah Rodriguez, CBS News. The virus shutdown threatened the future of New York City's Stonewall Inn, birthplace of the modern gay rights movement. Now the Gill Foundation, which backs equality for LGBTQ people, says it will donate $250,000 to keep the place running. Yesterday was the 51st anniversary of the Stonewall riots. Steve Kath and CBS News. The coronavirus pandemic has affected many businesses in the Imperial Valley. The Small Business Development Center and the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation are here to help. They can assist with disaster loans and other financing, guidance on establishing a safe workplace, workforce concerns, and additional referrals. For virtual counseling services, call the Small Business Development Center, 760-312-9800. Say habla espanol. For more information on business resources, visit IBEDC.com. CBS News, a service of the Imperial Valley Economic Development Corporation. It's all here. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio. I have no words for it. I'm kind of shocked right now, actually. With Carol Buckley. Not that I like it, but I do. AM 1230 KXO. 1230 KXO. 